So, without further ado, this is our chorus. Thank you.
And last of all, thank you to all of you for showing up tonight for our Forest Concert. We hope that you can join us again in the springtime. We have some more music, lots more energetic, exciting music that I can't wait to share with you all. Now we're going to turn it over in a little bit to Mrs. Rogers and her Theater 3 floor for their production of something that I really can't say because um, there's a lot of words in there and I don't want to butcher it. But they're coming, so please stay, watch, and enjoy. And again, thank you guys for coming out and have a wonderful night. to walk the earth. Oh, I am, wait, line? I am your father's spirit, doomed for a certain time to walk the earth. What? What? You're scary. You're a ghost. I'm a ghost? Yes, you're Hamlet's father. Your soul is consumed in flames because you were murdered while you were sleeping with your wife. Well, how do I do that? Act scary? Oh, Hamlet! Boo! All right, stop. Listen, Tiffany. Let me explain this to you in ways that you can understand. You're the king, right? You're the king, and one night your brother decided he was in love with your wife. So he poured poison in your ear. Poison in my ear? That's gross. Yes, and you died. In fact, your blood kind of gooed up like mucus and you choked to death. And once you were dead, you didn't go to heaven because you hadn't had your sins forgiven. So instead, you are burning in hellfire for the rest of eternity. Every day you wake up, and your skin melts off, and your eyes pop out of your pockets, and so you have one chance to rest in peace, and you have to chase down your son and get him to kill your brother, okay? Huh. Look, use your own life as an example. Has there ever been a time when you were betrayed by a close relative who murdered you and stole your wife? I'm 13. Right, use that, go. And remember, hellfire, every day. Hamlet, boo. You stink! This is stupid. All right, can I get everybody out here, please? Get your butts out here right now, you maggots! All right, is this a circle? Jamie, is this a perfect circle? It's just a line. Then let's get in a circle! Where's Luna? Who's supposed to be watching Luna? I'll go get her. OK. I want everyone to join hands. Now, close your eyes and breathe in and out. In. Somebody touched me. <laughs> Shut up. And out. Now, reach the sky, stretch, feel the stretch, and sit. Sit! Now, some of you may be finding the material difficult. It's stupid. It's not stupid. It's gay, then. What did I tell you about that word? What? It means happy and excited. Look it up in the dictionary. You children understand this, that Hamlet is the greatest play written by mankind. The greatest. Why? Because I said so. Because of its epic beauty, skank. OK, all right. Well, I still don't get it. Well, yeah. Some of you are going to have trouble getting it. And that's just because you're not very smart. But that's not your fault. That's just genetics. Your parents are probably dumb, too. But we have a responsibility to literature here, you understand? Yes. Someone besides Roberta? Someone besides me? 
Yeah. That's better. My talents are wasted on you. You're scum. You're... I need to leave. This is crazy, and she's insane. You yeah. just working on your lines? Sure. Because I was noticing you weren't getting them all right in practice, you know what I'm saying? No, not really. Oh, no, you... First of all, you're too short for Hamlet. I'm also a 13-year-old girl. I don't think you can handle the psychological complexity, frankly, and that saddens me. Yeah, psychological complex. What? And you know what I do when I'm saddened? I get real mad, and then I start hurting things, like other people. I twist off their fingernails and shove them down their throat. Hey, come on! Was I talking to you? If I may continue, you either fully express the self-doubt and all-consuming ambiguity of Am ambiguity, wench, of self-torture, or I'm going to eat your face. You're going to eat my face? That was just an expression. But it'll hurt. Bad. You'll no longer be pretty. Got it? That's messed up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well... You weren't here when she chewed off one girl's nose because she couldn't name all four causes behind the Civil War. She, she's crazy. Okay, everybody. Where's Miss Violet Bush? She's having a private moment. Okay, then. Well, I just wanted to bring a new student by. This is Brittany. Hi, I'm Brittany. And Brittany is going to be staying with us here for a while uh, until she sorts a few things out. So, uh, Brittany. Here we have Kaylee, Jamie, the quiet girl. Luna. Whatever. Sam, Tiffany, Annie, Nancy, Roberta, Melody, Morgan, and Doris. Hi, Doris. You call me that again, and I'll stab you. Doris <laughs> has a few issues. Doris. That's it. Oh, 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 what? Are you feeling all right? Yes. Yes. Okay, then. Carry okay. up, ladies. That was close. You're so gonna get busted. I'm gonna kick you in the nuts, and then they'll figure it out. They will not. Why are you in here anyway? Well, they made a mistake when they were putting me away. And I showed up. And they're not doing any paperwork to send me that. So I'm guessing they're pretending I'm a girl. Huh? I'm okay with it. They must think I'm a masculine girl. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Shut up. I am so excited to be here. It's like I've got ten new sisters. <laughs> and a brother, sort of. Thank you. <laughs> Look, what's your name? Barbie? Brittany, but I love Barbies. Look, Brittany, we're not here to play Barbies. This isn't church camp. Uh, yeah. We prefer little brats. Uh, I, I, I mean, we don't play with dolls. You better get with the program, because we're all doing hard time here. Sure. That attitude isn't helpful. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to be friends. You can shut up. That would help. But what are you in for anyway? Oh, I killed a man in Georgia. Oh. <laughs> Let's play Barbie! I really am starting to hate this place, I gotta tell you. Yeah, well, it's temporary. I'm here till I'm 16. Hello there, little girly. You sure do look pretty. My mommy says not, not strangers! Why, I'm sure she didn't mean me. Yes, she did! I'm gonna take a sewing needle and stab it through your eye. No, you won't. <laughs> ah! some paper cuts and I feel a lot better. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Who are you? It doesn't matter. You're gonna play Rosencrantz. Who? Yeah. You're an old friend of Hamlet's who was paid off by the evil king to find out whether or not Hamlet is crazy or just acting crazy. 
Then you decide to kill him. But he decides to kill you first. Okay. Okay. Let's rehearse. We're going to do Act 1, Scene 2. I need Claudius, Hamlet, Gertrude, and Tree. Tree! In the background! All right. And go. Line. Just go with it. So, Hamlet, you seem really pissed off lately. Yes, I am. I am pissed off. Okay. So? We're at psychological complexity! Yeah, psychological complex. What? Mom? Yes, son? Didn't you love Dad? Well, I did, Then but... why did you marry his brother, who's ugly? Hey, I am not! I think she's kind of cute. Thank you. So, what are you doing after this? Nothing. Keep going. Um... So, um, Hamlet, what's your deal? I'm pissed off. Right. Claudius, don't you have a line? What? Don't you have a line? Um, I think I do. Well? Um... Tomorrow! Tomorrow! I'll love you tomorrow! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, it's whoa, only whoa. a day! Stop! What are you doing? I thought this was where I started singing. No. So it's later then. We're not doing any. I thought we were doing a musical about a lovable orphan with curly red hair who meets up with a rich benefactor and then lives happily ever after. No. We're doing a troubling play about the consequences of self-doubt and the impossibility of acting with certainty in this cruel and uncaring world. And everyone dies in the end. Well, is there singing? No. You are playing Claudius, who murdered his brother by pouring poison into his ear. That's gross! Yes. And then marrying his widow in order to become king in Denmark. Is this why I'm pissed off? Yes. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Um, Claudius, Hamlet, Gertrude, off. Tree, stay right there. And let's get ready for the entrance of the sugar gum drops. Okay. It's a dark night in Denmark. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing! What are we supposed to be doing? You're dancing. Why? Because you only exist inside Hamlet's mind, and Hamlet's mind wants you to dance! And we're Hamlet! <laughs> oh, um, to be? Stop! Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you talking to us? You are the physical manifestation of Hamlet's doubt. Act like it. That's better. Go again. Um, to be... Stop! <laughs> All right. To be like this. Not to be like this.
talking bear enters whenever I say she does. And right now, she's going to come on stage. You know what? You know what? I quit. Find a new Hamlet. You can't quit. Watch me. You're making a big mistake, Missy. You quit this show, and I make sure you won't get out of here until you're 50. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Fine. I could do it without you. I could do it without any of you. Can I ever part? Yes, I need you. What are you packing for? What do you think? Taking off? Yep. I don't know, huh? Pretty much. You figure they'll just let you walk out of here? I'm getting out one way or another. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sticking around here to jump through hoops for that psycho. Come on. What? You heard her. She's crazy. And you guys are all following orders like some kind of stupid little army. It's better than sitting around here doing nothing. Well, I'm not doing that either. You're not going to make it. Watch me. Before you got here, there was this girl who tried the same thing. Four times, actually. They kept adding a year to her sentence each time. They were tackling her, and she was screaming and yelling and everything. She bit this one guard on the cheek and held on. We didn't see her anymore after that. What'd they do? They sent her to straight up prison. No more kid stuff. She went from getting out at 18 to getting out at 30. Well, I'm not planning on biting anyone. Yeah, but you never know. Once you get on the road, the lore of human flesh and Shut all Shut up! You've been here too long. That's your problem. What's you don't even to... question anything. What's that supposed to mean? Just what I said. You just follow along, no matter what. She tells you to jump, you jump. She tells you that Hamlet has a talking bear and a bunch of dancing gumdrops in it. Just accept it! What do I care if there's a talking bear in the show? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this place. It sucks anyway. Better. You could do it better. They've got Melanie in there now. Melanie? She's the worst one. I know. You should have seen her at rehearsal after you left. What a piece of work is a man. What does that mean? You're frustrated with mankind. Really? Yes, they disappointed you. So you turn to the bears. What a piece of work is a man, and what better piece of work is a bear? Uh-oh, Hamlet. What is it, talking bear? Well, we bears have a saying. Sometimes you stick your paw in and you get honey, and sometimes you get stung by bees, and then sometimes you steal Park Ranger's lunch. <laughs> the beauty of the world, the paragon of animals in action. How like an angel in apprehension, how like a god, and yet, to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Mandalites, not me. Only bears. That's better. I feel like hibernating all the time. Me too. And see, you guys are brilliant. I should fire the whole rest of the cast. And they're adding the bear into every scene. Now, instead of Hamlet getting poisoned and killed at the end, the bear eats everyone except for Hamlet, and Hamlet rides the bear off into the sunset. That's messed up. I know. None of us have any idea what's going on. You gotta come in like for order. Sorry. What am I gonna do here without you? I don't know. Same thing as what you did before I got here. You're my only friend in this place. So come leave with me. We'll both break out of here. And go where? Do what? I don't know. I got some friends. We could crash on their couch. I mean, don't you got anybody like family or anything? Family? Yeah. No. My dad took off before I was born, and my mom... I'm not going back to my mom. Well, if it makes you feel like I'm not going back to my mom either. She doesn't want me back. She's glad I'm in here. One less thing to slow her down, one less thing to worry about. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, you can't make it yourself, you know? You can't just sit back and wait for all these people to make all the decisions for you. Like, they're going to protect you. No one is going to protect you. All anyone ever wants is to get something out of you or else just make it go away. It's like we're all at this table and there's just one piece of bread in the middle and it's who are you going to climb over to get it? To eat, you know, to live? And I'm tired of living in a cage, locked up, waiting for someone to drop some crumbs in front of my face and ask me for gratitude. So you're going to live out there? I'm not scared, it's just me. I'll be fine, you'll be fine too.
you got no idea. What? Before I was here, I mean, my mom hates me, and I knew that, even when I was little. I don't know how I knew, I just did, because she didn't love me, you know? I remember I would just sit in the corner and cry all the time. I would put my head to the wall, and I'd smell the old paint, and I wanted to die. I mean, this is kindergarten. I wanted to die in kindergarten. And I grew up, I, I grew up with this hole in me. And all I ever wanted to do was fill it with something. Anything. I mean, in sixth grade, I was strung out on all kinds of stuff, all the time. And it still didn't help. I mean, it helped for a minute while I was on it. But as soon as I wasn't messed up anymore, that old, empty spot in the middle of me would just come right back, and I'd feel like being in the corner again. She didn't care. She saw it all, and she didn't care. So maybe I wanted to kill myself. But I got lucky, and I ended up here instead, and I'm alive now because of it. And I've got a little bit of self-esteem now. Just a touch of it, and that's pretty cool. So I may not be ready to go back out there yet. Because I know it may not be great in here, but I know what's out there. Okay. You'll stay? I'll think about it. Okay, time for rehearsal! crazy because Hamlet is pretending to be crazy. Am I really crazy or just pretending to be crazy? Well, at first you're just pretending to be crazy, but then pretending to be crazy drives you insane, so you're pretty much nuts by this point. This doesn't make any sense, and you've gone insane because Hamlet dumped you because he's mad because your mother is working with his father, who he's mad at because his father is with your mother, and then his, and then he killed your father for no reason. And now you're going to throw yourself into a small stream and drown. Huh? This is crazy. Yeah. Okay, go. Um, hey, Ophelia. Take off Faye, you hoser. Ah, uh, uh, you're a jerk, Hamlet. You're a jerk. Nobody likes you. At least I'm not going to kill myself by throwing myself in a river. At least I'm not going to... Shut up. You're not gonna shut up? Good one, moron. Okay, the pain has become too great. Ah, uh, do I have to fall? Yes, you're dead. You can't stay standing. But I don't wanna get dirty. So can I die against a tree? Whatever. Ah, uh, now I'm going to kill myself. Ah, uh, now I'm dead. Okay, and scene. All right, everyone circle up, please. Circle up, you scum! All right, if you could all please sit. I'm in a skirt! The floor's dirty. I have knee problems. Please. Sitting. Sit! going to be our final dress rehearsal. Tomorrow night, we are going to perform in front of the Board of Trustees of this institution. It will be the greatest night of your lives. Someday, when you're old and living in an assisted living center that will probably resemble this place quite a bit, you're going to look back on your wasted, sad little lives and you're going to think, where did time go? Did I ever really do anything? Was I ever good at anything? And maybe a tear will roll down your withered cheek and you'll think for a moment that life was meaningless, that your children have forgotten you that all hope is lost. But then, then you'll remember one day. You'll remember one day when you had your chance to play your part in the greatest play ever written, to achieve art. And maybe a smile will crack your withered lips, and you'll remember your brilliant turn as the talking bear, or maybe the majesty of the sugar gum toys. And you'll think, my life has meaning, if only because of that one day. That day, it's tomorrow.
tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Only <laughs> you will never be the same. Every day after, you will live, breathe, and sleep Hamlet. You will be Hamlet. You will live. By God, you will live. Yeah, Hamlet. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Hamlet. Hamlet. Now's our chance. Ah, what's going you on? You can't get Cooper. Where's what? the rope? What is going on? You know what? You'll never get away with this. You know what? I think you will. See, some of us got to thinking, and you're a really bad director. Cover. What? And maybe is it, an, it isn't Shakespeare that was annoying and crazy and a big pain in the butt. Maybe it was just you. And maybe we should give Shakespeare a shot anyway. But since Shakespeare is dead and we can't tie him up, we're going to tie you up instead. And we're going to do the play our way. In a way that makes sense. It won't make sense. Oh, we think it will. See? That's the great secret. None of it makes sense. It's really confusing and annoying and mean, but we make you study it anyway because we're really horrible people who have really terrible childhoods who didn't get elected homecoming queen, even though we're so much cuter than that trick. Vicky Corday with her stupid red hair and Fred Snape and Brett Dancing Boyfriend, and we're taking it all on you, and we're going to make your lives miserable in exchange, and that's a circle of life! Take her away, oh, Let's burn the witch! All right. Let's get started. Can I have a part? Sure. Uh, we still got to deal with Roberta. She's going to be angry and try to eat all of our faces. Oh, that's no problem. I've been putting poison in her food for the past week. She's so weak, she's going to beat up a fly. <laughs> what? Nothing. Hey, can there be Barbies in the show? Anything you want, Brittany. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right. So, Kaylee, you're Hamlet. Um, I, I was Hamlet. <laughs> yeah, but you're terrible. Hey! Sam's right, Melanie. We're trying to do this good. Uh, so we start with the ghost. Boo! Hamlet! Ah! Ghost! Oh, get revenge on my murderer! Wait! I have need answers to so many questions! And make me a sandwich, too! What? What's up, Hamlet? Um, my father just came back from the grave and told me you poured poison into his ear. Yeah, I did. So, what are you going to do about it? I love your honesty. Thank you. It's so refreshing. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to think about it for a while, and then think about killing myself, and then I'm going to dump my girlfriend! We'll leave you alone to have a monologue. That's very kind of you. Um, to be or not to be. So life is pretty bad. And I'd kill myself, except I'm that the afterlife would be worse than this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hamlet, I love you. Hi, I'm Polonius, Ophelia's father. Just thought I'd introduce myself in case there was any confusion. Die! Ah! <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Boo! What the heck are you doing? Whatever. Boo? I'm gonna go kill myself in the pool. I'm gonna go throw myself in the river. Uh, you do that. Can somebody please take care of this body? Hi! Hello. Who are you? I am... And I'm a magical fairy princess unicorn. And I'm here to tell you something. What are you going to tell me? The best way to dispose of a dead body is by pouring acid on it. <laughs> hey, Hamlet. I'm Laertes. I'm Ophelia's brother. Hey, how's it going? Not so good. You made my sister throw herself in a river and killed my father. I've got a bone to pick with you. Can't we just be friends? I've got an idea. How about you guys have a duel with swords? That sounds great. Laertes, I put poison on your sword so that when you hit Hamlet with it, he dies. I'm standing right here. And here's a cup of poison you can give him in case he gets thirsty. And I'm not going to drink that. Are you thirsty, Hamlet? No, thanks. Are you thirsty now? No. 
I am. Um... No, 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 Mom! Oops. Ah, uh, Mom! Then. Uh, why does this always happen to me? Now we're going to fight. Uh, I've been hit. I dropped my imaginary sword. Now I've picked up your imaginary sword. You have not. Now I've stabbed you with it. What? It's like 10 feet long. <laughs> shield! It has shield penetrating powers! <laughs> I've been poor. Wait! I have something to tell you. There was poison on my imaginary sword. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Wait! There's just enough time to kill the king before it kills you. Yeah. 